just when I was about to start this discourse, I told them I am very, very tired. So Arkavda told I'll give you green tea. I said, no, green tea is only for thinking. When I'm tired, I need instant energy. Instant energy, you get it from instant chocolate. <laughs> I said, give me a chocolate. The whole day I was in the field working. And I rushed up and took a bath. If anybody is very tired, give them a chocolate. Instant energy. A Sufi course, happiness comes from helping others by being with others and by sharing even if it's only a smile. Happiness comes from helping others. How do you help others? One time I was coming in the bus. I think I myself was driving the school bus, the university bus, taking my children to Burchukri Gurganchukri. With the waterfalls near Bangalore. Coming back down, I always carry a lot of old clothes and sarees in case I see somebody on the road with you. I stopped the bus for my children to have some drink. Then I saw the roadside some elderly ladies were sitting, poor people, in the village. I took some sarees and rushed up and gave them. They refused to take. <laughs> so that's not the way of helping. You have to prepare to. Before you go to the hall, when I was taken to Kunikar, in the UB stud farm, the race horses who finished their racing, retired one, I kept there for the crossing purpose. All tall, big, healthy, good looking. They got a beautiful pen. And when I went near, they said, don't touch. First, you give your hand. So when the horse smells, if it smells, if it's not okay, then you can touch it. Yes. So help, before you help others, you have to be very, very careful. You have to prepare yourself. Happiness comes from helping others. Before the rain comes, much before the rain comes, you make sure that the land is cut beautifully for the rainwater. You can control the nature. You can love the nature. It's not the nature is controlling you. There's a storm and it destroys all your huts and your roads and all. You is destroying because you have not done your homework to help them. When you help others, happiness blooms and when you cut the land and make the water flow beautifully into a beautiful pond and when you see the rainwater is filled up the pond and you see a duck and geese playing in the water and the fishes jumping up and down and you see your children also jumping into the pond, that is happiness. When the husband comes from his work very tired, he takes a beautiful bath and then he takes his wife for a long drive or a walk to the park and then you see a second rod of energy boosting up. Yes, it is not compressed, it is not suppressed. Compressed and suppression comes when you accept the defeat of a slavery of glamour. You take her out and you go for a long drive. And then you find beautiful philosophy spilling out, good poetry spilling out, not that the mother love, father loves fight, but only love, only trying to find out every day what one new thing we can create or do called Kaisan. This Kaisan is not happening because you come back tired and you accept that tiredness is your birthright. You know, you know, seven stages of your tiredness only opens up the new energy. Seven times you are tired, you fall down because the sweat is completely closing up your pores. 
you drink water, you take a scrub bath, and you can find out a new energy boosting out. Happiness comes from helping others to be close. By being with others, being with others, being with the children, being with the plants, being with the girls, yes, being with the nature. When you be with the others, by being with others, I remember whenever you go to any to see your grandmother or grandfather, please carry pedicure and manicure things. A nail cutter, when you rush up, you make sure you trim their nails and massage their legs. And if the dead skin, remove the dead skin, comb their hair. You can see a new happiness. And you think it is dead. The grandfather and grandmother is dead. You are not going to get anything. But you forgot by, by trimming the nails and pedicure and manicure and a massage for them. Or giving them a bath, combing their hair. You can find that old gold is become a magnetic, a powerful magnetic force. It enters your body and recharges your body. No battery charging shop can recharge your battery like how that old this gold recharges you. You forgot that one link and you spat on them. And you go around everywhere, everywhere, but you will not get rich. Sufi quotes, and by sharing, even if it's only a smile, which I have not seen in India, even though it is the land of spirituality of gurus or maharishis, the land of so beautiful which has given the whole world the philosophy of a religion. The land, the motherland of the philosophy, motherland of all religions. But if you see anybody in the road, nobody smiles. But I have seen it in Japan, they were practicing and I asked them, they told me they learned it from India, yes. As you enter a provision store, the first thing is Rashima say, Konnichiwa, good afternoon, Kumbawa, good evening, Ohaya Gosai. The moment they say Ohaya Gosai, good morning or good evening, the first girl, which they call the flower girl, she must can be only 16 or 18, not more than that. She smiles and say Ohaya Gosai must. And that sound is picked up to the last end of the person who is cleaning the toilet or washing the clothes. They can go, oh, I go sir. And when you go out, everybody says, Arigato gozaimasu. And they say, I'm, thank you. And it resounds to the last end. And they see you on the road and they say, hi. Even if they run hi, Arigato gozaimasu. Here, your own friends will not even wish. I do not know why. When you wish a small smile and you say, Hi, good afternoon, good evening, you are created happiness. Happiness comes from helping. Happiness comes from a smile you give to a plant and a tree and you feel you have been rejuvenated when you smile at a tree. And the, the moment you go near a plant, you feel deceased. Itching comes because the plant is frightened. You come to pick it, pinch it, spit on it. You take the uh, what called uh, in case tobacco and pan and spit on them. How how you feel when somebody spits on you? The plant. You have to bend low to the floor and then spit it and cover it up with the mud. With the cats and dogs, does that look at the human beings? That is where the happiness when it is dislocated. There is divorce, there is disease, there is sufferings, and then you become a slave because you allowed others to control you because you have no control. So because happiness comes from helping others. When you study something, when Padma and Arthavita and Kanika, when they study, 
they help each other that is group study whatever little they know they express but when padma kanika and kavita when they uh, studying for the period third semester examination they all the three tone room by look around then happiness doesn't come means answer doesn't come when answer doesn't come you try to copy you feel upset you want to go to the temples and churches and masjid to beg for the god that's what jiddu krishna murthy said when you lose us when one loses the deep intimate relationship with the nature then temples and masjid and churches becomes very important then copying becomes important then to one who crook you have to pass to get a degree becomes very important happiness comes from helping others by being with others by being with others being with your friend or with the little elders who knows that subject and practices every teacher every principal's job should be that particular chapter should be practically practiced as a bhiti natake street play and children get they feel so good about it and it gets into every cell of the brain and we share even if it's only a smile just the smile is not that you smile every time the canary and they come behind you and then go don't go and tell me tell me that others are chasing you know why you smile and you know you have the control because you have smiled at you you have smiled at your own mother and father and master the mother and father and sat on the lap and when they fed you you also made so you also fed them back grandfather and grandmother and you made sure the house is always clean around the house you planted something and you watered it you didn't pluck it plant something and water it so that you don't pluck it when you pluck it unhappiness enters happiness is to water it unhappiness is to pluck it happiness comes this way if you give a smile trim the nails of your grandmother and grandfather